names in this botanical epic. Names like juniper, coriander, centauria, and the word taurus. These names are simply the names of plants, with the exception of taurus. It is actually the name of a constellation. After 600 years of study, to this date, we have only locked the meaning of 10 words. The reason we are unable to unlock this codex is because we are thinking like a human. The book has stars and plants and drawings of mostly females in very odd situations and descriptions. After 600 years, this is where our knowledge runs dry. And sadly, none of this gets us any closer to understanding its message. That is, until now. Each page of this codex is written in a language that no longer exists. It has several drawings of plants and several drawings of stars. The codex cannot be unlocked because we are thinking like humans. We are human beings who are reading an alien message. And in order to understand an alien message, one must think like an alien. But remember, an alien language is the universal language. And the universal language is star constellations. To understand this book, all one has to know is the book is literally a Rosetta Stone, as each plant and each star and each drawing are all saying the exact same thing. It is truly nothing more than one message repeated in three different languages. The plants are botanical, a language, star constellations, another language, and with pictogram or drawing as the last language. Although there are several pages of each, they are all saying the exact same thing, but in three different languages. A tree is botanical, and it is also human, and it is also a star constellation. A plant that is named Taurus is also written as Taurus the constellation. A plant that resembles Venus flytrap is made to signify Venus the planet. Each plant has a cognate in each of these languages. So where we lack knowledge in one of these languages, the other languages will help us understand it. It is equivalent to reading a story in English. And if we don't truly understand English, there is a picture to help us. If we don't understand the picture, there is a constellation of stars that is drawn. And even if we don't understand it, there is a diagram and a graph. All of this means in order to understand it, you only have to understand one of them. Moreover, if you have familiarity with all of these languages, then deciphering it is much easier. The reason the crop circles are leading us to this book is because this book contains the knowledge of the end, the end of mankind and the end of the earth. Although the religious believe the end of the world to be one of demons, Christs, horsemen, and angels, it is not. The reason we know it is not is because we have records dating back more than 60,000 years, and each of them telling us what happens at the end of the earth. And it ends the same every single time. When we unravel this mystery, we must then confront a horrible reality the reality of what to do. These pictures show a tree, and it's not just any tree. It is a tree that we have ignored for over a thousand years. It is the tree of life, the birthplace of human beings. How do we know that it is the tree of life? Look at its roots. They are strange, and they look like a human hand. That is because it is a human tree, and this tree and this Voynich manuscript are speaking the same language. However, what is different about this tree is the fact that the roots are carnivorous. It is a plant, a tree, that eats flesh. The book shows the birth of life and the purpose of life, and with great sadness, it also shows the end of it. We couldn't unlock its knowledge because 